Hi, this is Damien from CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to approach creating such reinforcement elements in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system. Anyone can freely use this system, even for paid projects. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support, and before we go any further, the videos where I show FreeCAD through examples may not cover all of FreeCAD's features in detail, so if you are just starting to learn FreeCAD, I have created a playlist of videos that are a good place to start. The link to the playlist is in the description below the video. Okay, let's move on to FreeCAD. Here I have a simple example, but soon we will create a more complex project. However, with this simple example, I would like to show you how to create such ribs. I will start a new project, I will create a parametric part, and we will begin by creating a sketch. We will create a simple model. We will do this by drawing a rectangle whose center will lie at the origin of the coordinate system. It will be a rectangle with dimensions of 50 by 30 millimeters. And I press enter. I close the sketch and add an extrusion of 5 millimeters. Okay, now I will create the second part of this solid. I create a sketch on this face. Create reference geometry based on this edge, and now I choose to draw a rectangle. I place the first corner of the rectangle here. For this dimension, I enter 5 millimeters, press enter, and for the second dimension, I can enter 30 millimeters, but I can also click anywhere. For example, here, I right click to cancel dimensioning, and we can do this so that we constrain these two points with a coincidence constraint. We have a rectangle, I close the sketch, and now based on this rectangle, I will create the second part of the solid. I will add an extrusion of 30 millimeters, and we have such a solid. Now I will create another sketch based on which we will create a rib. This model was created so that we can create the next sketch on the XZ plane because this plane passes through the center of this solid. On this plane we can create a sketch, and we will do this by selecting the Create External Geometry command. Create reference geometry based on this edge, and based on this edge, and I will switch to the sectional view. I select to draw a polyline, and I will draw the polyline roughly this way. Here it is important that the first point of the polyline lies on this line, and the second point of the polyline lies on this line. We will also close this shape this way, using this point here, and we close the polyline at this point. I right click to cancel drawing the polyline, and we can add dimensions here, but we will leave it without dimensions. I close the sketch and simply add an extrusion of this sketch symmetrically from the plane to a specified value, for example 5 millimeters. And ok, we have something like this. This is a simple example where we can create such a rib. Now I will create another solid. I select the Create New Body option to create another solid. Here, I select this body and press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this solid. I select the Sketching option, choose the XY plane, and we will do this in a similar way. This time, however, we will draw a rectangle that will be at some distance from the origin of the coordinate system. While drawing the rectangle, I did not add dimensions, so now I right click to cancel the rectangle drawing. I select this line and press the D key to activate dimensioning. Here for the dimension, I enter 30, select this line, and here I enter 50. For the sketch to be fully defined, we need to specify the position of this sketch from the origin of the coordinate system. On the X axis, let's enter 20 millimeters, and on the Y axis, let's enter 10 millimeters. And OK, the sketch is fully constrained. I close the sketch and add an extrusion of 5 millimeters. OK, and in a similar way, we create the next part of the solid. So I create a sketch on this face, select this face, select the Create Sketch command, and just like before, we choose the Create External Geometry command. Select this line to create reference geometry based on this line. 
I select to draw a rectangle and for the first corner of the rectangle, I select this point here. For the dimension, I enter 5 millimeters. Press enter and for the second dimension, I will click at, for example, this point. I right click to cancel the rectangle drawing command. And here I will use another constraint. I select this point, select this point and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. However, here an error occurred. I press Ctrl Z and let's do this by dragging this corner closer to this point. I select this point, select this point and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. And now FreeCAD already knew which constraint to apply. When the corner of the rectangle was far from the corner of the solid, FreeCAD was not entirely sure whether to apply the constraint that specifies that these points are on a vertical line or on a horizontal line. But once we moved that corner of the rectangle close to that point, it was no longer a problem with determining the constraint. The sketch is already defined. We close the sketch and based on this sketch we add an extrusion of 30 millimeters. Ok, we have such a solid, the solid looks the same as the previous solid, but here we do not have a plane passing through the center of this solid. We can create such a plane in a couple of different ways. The first thing that comes to mind is to select the two side faces of this solid. We do this with the control key. Ok, we have selected the two faces of the solid and we choose the create a datum plane command. In this case the plane was created this way, but we can also apply a rotation of 90 degrees around the Y axis. And now this plane passes through the center of this solid and we can leave it like that. I click OK. But now when I select this plane and choose to create a sketch, the plane is oriented this way. Here this solid was rotated and that doesn't interfere with anything. We can create a sketch on this plane, we can use reference geometry from the solid and we can create such a simple sketch. But I don't like the orientation of this plane, therefore I select this sketch, delete the sketch, select the plane and delete this plane. As for creating such a plane, we can also do it this way by selecting these two points with the control key and now we select create a datum plane. At this moment, this plane was created between these points. We click OK and now we have such a plane. Now I select this plane, choose to create a sketch and select the create external geometry command to create a reference geometry to these edges. I switch to the section view and, just like before, I draw a polyline in such a way to have points of the polyline lying on these lines and we close the shape, I right click to cancel drawing the polyline and right click to finish this command. We close the sketch and add an extrusion of 5mm symmetrically from the plane. I click OK and we have something like this. I will turn off the visibility of this plane and turn on the visibility of this solid. We have two such solids in which we created such ribs using different methods. And now I will create another solid. I will turn off the visibility of these solids and we will create another solid. I select the create sketch command. This time I will create a sketch on the XZ plane and create a shape consisting of polylines. Roughly this way. Ok. I right click to cancel drawing the polyline and again to finish this command. I will add dimensions. I select this line, press the D key and here as a dimension I enter 50 millimeters. OK. Now I select this line and here as a dimension I enter 5 millimeters. OK. I right click to cancel dimensioning. And I select this line, choose the horizontal vertical constraint. Here we have some redundant constraints, so I press Ctrl Z. And first, I select this line, choose the horizontal vertical constraint, OK. Now, I will try to change the position of this line, OK. I will set this line to be more horizontal. 
I select this line and now I choose the horizontal vertical constraint. I will add more constraints. And this sketch got a little damaged, but we could easily deal with it. The sketch is fully constrained and we can't freely change the shape, so I'll remove this constraint. Now we can change the shape a little bit. I'll move this geometry a little bit. And I'll add the constraint again. and everything looks good. We close the sketch and add an extrusion. For example, of 100 millimeters. Okay, we have something like this. And now I will create another sketch. I select the create sketch command and we will create a sketch on the XY plane. Okay, and here let's choose the create external geometry command and create reference geometry relative to this line. I switch to the section view and now let's create a rectangle. I select to draw a rectangle using the centered rectangle command and I will place the center of the rectangle on this line. As for the dimensions of the rectangle, let's enter 60 millimeters here and let's enter 40 millimeters here. Okay, we have such a rectangle. Here an automatic constraint was also applied which placed the center of the rectangle at the center of this line because when drawing this rectangle I clicked near the center of the line. Therefore, this constraint was applied automatically. I close the sketch and now, based on this sketch, I will create a pocket. Here I select through all and check the reversed option so that this pocket is created in the other direction. I click OK to confirm this. Now I would like to create such ribs between this face and this face. I would also like to do this between this face and this face. And if I now choose to create sketch, you will see that here I cannot use any plane to do this. I need to create construction planes here. I cancel this. And we will create a construction plane here, just like we did in the previous case. That is, with the control key, I select these two points and choose the create datum plane command. I click OK and now on this plane I can create another sketch. I select this plane, choose to create a sketch and just like before I choose the create external geometry command and select this geometry as reference geometry. I switch to the section view and draw a polyline in such a way to get the shape here that we will extrude. and I add an extrusion to a specified distance symmetrically from the plane and I click OK. We can do the same on this face but we can also use the mirror command. For this we will create another construction plane. I select this plane and press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this plane. Now we will create a construction plane that lies between these points. I select these two points and choose the create datum plane command. I click OK and now I select this operation. I choose the mirror command and here is the mirror plane. I select the select reference option and select this plane as the mirror plane. I click OK, select this plane in the operation tree, press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this plane and we have such a solid as you can see, creating such reinforcements ribs is quite easy in FreeCAD. However, creating a construction plane on which we will later create a sketch of such a rib can be more difficult. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.